What's up everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you for tuning in. And in today's video, I'm gonna be picking up the phone, smiling and dialing, calling motivated seller leads live in front of you today. That's right, I'm gonna be calling sellers live in this video, trying to lock up a wholesale deal in front of you. That being said, this video is gonna be value packed from the beginning all the way to the end. So make sure you stick around for the whole video because I'm gonna be wholesaling real estate live in front of you today. Also, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, go down below, hit the red button and subscribe. It helps me reach more people, so I'd really appreciate it if you go subscribe to the channel. But with that being said, let's get right into the video. So first off, I wanna let you know what leads I'm gonna be calling today. I'm gonna be calling leads from digital ads. These are people that have gone to my website or gone to a website, filled out a form saying they wanna sell their house. So they're extremely motivated sellers, they're hot and they're ready to sell. These leads that I'm gonna be calling, they are from iSpeed to Lead. iSpeed to Lead is a lead provider where you're able to buy leads individually, one by one, or sign up for them to send you leads and send you a certain amount for how much you uh, choose to spend. So that's what I'm doing. I'm getting leads from iSpeed to Lead and I'm having massive success with these online digital ad leads. So. Let me share my screen with you and I wanna show you a little bit more about iSpeed to lead and then I wanna show you what exactly, what tools I'm gonna to be using on my two screens as I call these sellers because I'm gonna be comping the property, taking notes and figuring everything out while I'm on the phone with them and I wanna show you what tools I use to do that. So let me go ahead, share my screen with you. And first off, we are on my link for iSpeed to lead. And by the way, guys, there's gonna be a link in the description for iSpeed to lead where you can sign up and you are gonna get 66% off the first leads that you buy from iSpeed to lead. So make sure you click that link down below to use it uh, for iSpeed to lead. But essentially, what it's gonna give you, it's gonna give you these leads where it tells you the information about them, like why are they motivated, um, how fast do they wanna sell, are, what's their reason for selling? Is it owner occupied or tenant occupied? It's gonna give you all this information about it and then you can go ahead, open more details about the lead and then you can click purchase. So you can buy leads one by one on here or again, you can sign up where fixed price mode where they send you leads for a certain amount of dollars that you spend. So that way you get a certain amount of leads sent to you. Um, and yeah, I'm using iSpeed to lead for pretty much all my marketing right now uh, of these motivated seller leads that I'm gonna be calling in front of you. So there's plenty more information here for you to check out, but there's a link in the description down below. So make sure to go check out iSpeed Lead. Now with that being said, the other things that I'm gonna be using in this video is my CRM. So once I get the lead from iSpeed to Lead, I'm gonna input it into my CRM, which is my client relationship management system. The one that I use is Wholesale Podio. It's available at wholesalepodio.com. If you go to wholesalepodio.com, you can click watch demo and get a full demo of the platform, but essentially it handles your full acquisitions department, dispositions department, and transactions department, and it literally does everything for your wholesaling business. So what happens is once the lead gets inputted into Wholesale Podio, it's gonna create a seller lead profile for each and every seller with all their information organized, and then you're gonna be able to take notes on the right-hand side. So I'll be storing all my seller information there, sending all my messages and emails to the sellers through the system and taking all my notes. So that's what I'll be using Wholesale Podio for in this video. The next thing that I'm gonna be using is PropStream. PropStream is an all-in-one real estate investor tool and what it lets me do is it lets me search up any property across the country and it's gonna give me every single piece of information about that property at my fingertips. If you want a seven day free trial of PropStream, there's a link down below in the description for that. Now, not only is it gonna give me all the information about the property, it's also gonna let me look up comparable sales in the area so that way I can figure out what the property's worth. So I'm gonna run my comps on PropStream to figure out what the property's worth so then from there I can calculate my offer to make the seller. It also lets you do marketing, pull motivated seller lists, build websites and so much more. It's an all-in-one tool. There's a link down below for a seven-day free trial of it so go get that. Now, once I figure out what the property is worth from PropStream, I then go ahead and I take that value that I found on PropStream and I go ahead and I plug that into my offer calculator. Then my offer calculator is gonna run all the math for me of every single amount that goes into calculating an offer and it's gonna spit out my MAO, my maximum allowed offer to make the seller and give me an offer range, a low and a high range of an offer to make the seller. 
So if you're struggling to calculate your offer properly, I highly recommend you go get this calculator that I've built for my business. It's available at jacobblank.com shop and there's a link in the description for that as well. So there we go. That's what I'm gonna be using as I'm making these calls. Quick overview, I'm getting my leads. My marketing is coming from iSpeed to lead. There's a link down below for that. Then once I get the lead, it goes into my CRM where I keep track of all the seller information and take all my notes. And then I use PropStream to look up the property, figure out what it's worth and have all the information about the property. Then I plug that value into my calculator. It gives me my MAO and then I make the offer to the seller and I'm doing all of this while talking to them on the phone. So that's what I do. That's what I use on my screens. And now let's get right into it. I'm gonna start calling. We actually have a seller calling me back right now that I'm about to lock up. Hello, are you there? Yeah, how you doing? Hey, doing good. So did you go ahead and text those to my cell phone? Yeah. Okay. I said, take it, take them out and call me back. Um, wait, I, I don't, I'm not sure I got them. Let me make sure. Okay, I got them. All right, so let's see here. I got the photos right here. Hold on one second. So thanks for sending these. Are you still there? Hello? I think he put me on hold. Uh, let me call him back. He sent me photos of the property and it's pretty rough. It needs a good amount of work. I was waiting on getting the photos from the seller so that way I can make sure it's a deal. And uh, looks like uh, it's a bit worse than he told me originally. Hey, hey, I, I just reviewed I just reviewed the photos. Let me go ahead and uh, pull this up now and we'll see what we can do. As far as the roof, is there any leaks in the roof? No, I had that roof put on in 2018. Okay. So, wouldn't put nothing on there. so it's pretty much just cosmetic on the inside. It needs like a remodel. Yeah. What'd you say? Yeah. Okay. Were what were you living in the property or did you buy it to as an investment or? I was living in there from 2015 to 2019. I had a tenant in there for almost three and a half years. The tenant in there tried to scam me and made a counterfeit quick claim. Me, I, I got a, a mortgage fraud case on it right now. Wow! So I got the I got the house back on July the 11th. It took me eight and a half months to get her out of there. Wow! I got a, um, I got a claim, I got the house back, I got judgment on the house back on July the 11th, and I was in uh, negotiations with another company. Uh -huh. I signed a 30-day contract for uh, 60000 mm, And what and happened? They never performed? On the 28th day, it was a 30-day contract. On the 28th day, they contacted me back and said that they were going on a deal. They were going out of business. Right. No, that they went out of business. They shut their websites down. That's crazy. What was their so name? We, we buy houses. We buy houses nationwide. That kind of. So, I had a lady working with me directly out of Chicago. She worked with me all the way up to a week before the closing date. They made me pay for uh adjuster and they paid for appraiser and everything was good they just i guess they didn't want to give me sixty thousand or they had too many other cash offers that they didn't have money for me or what it was because when i talked to the owner i'm like well y'all making me seem like i should hire an attorney for y'all for one for false advertisement and for having me 
Now my name on all the paperwork that came and turned out to be nothing at the end of the day. Y'all wasted my time. Okay, so how much are you looking to get for it now if we were able to make it happen? Hello? That's next door neighbor type shit. Yeah. How much are you looking to get for it now if we were able to make it happen? Like, what's the best you would do? 35. Okay. Hello. Yeah, I'm here. Yeah. I'm here still. I'm just looking at something. That, that made you look at him again. Um. That price made you look at the pictures again. What you, what you nah, nah, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at comps. I'm looking at things that have sold in the area. Uh -huh. So nothing wrong with the roof. What about the air conditioning? It got a furnace the in there. the that furnace is kind of new though, right? The furnace four yeah, years. Yeah, twenty one. The furnace ain't a hot one. Okay. Would you be open to us helping you sell it, maybe? Helping you sell it? Us helping you sell it. Uh, how long would that take? We can probably get it done in 30 days. I'm not interested in that 30 day contract, I'm sorry. No, we would probably have it done in 14 to 20, I'd say. I, when I signed that contract for y'all last month, only eleven of I was expecting something. And I, but I but you signed it. that contract. You signed that contract of ours on the day of closing, so that wouldn't work. You you see what I'm saying? Like essentially, right. if I sent you a contract today and the close was thirty days out and you don't sign it till the day of closing, we didn't have any time to do the title search or do with the due diligence that we need to do in order to make a right. transaction go through. Um, that, that's not what I'm saying. Uh -huh. So when when I talked to y'all that following Monday, yeah, I was like, yeah, you, you y'all said everything that you just said. Then you was like, well, we we we'll definitely have it closed uh, before this month over with. Before this know. month's over with, yeah, we might be able to get it done by the end of this month. I'm just saying, if we help you sell it, the longest would be 30 days. But I think we can have it done by the first week of October for sure. Would you be open to that? I'm trying to close this month, man. I'm behind on bills. I'm... I hear ya. I I can resend the contract for the end of this month, and I'm pretty confident we can get it done by the end of this month. Um, let's see. What do you think? I think your best bet is to work with us, because... Uh, if anybody's going to be able to make it happen, it would be us, man. We do a lot of business in the area. Are you still there? Hello? Yeah. Yeah, I'm just saying, we, we do a lot of business in the area. So if anybody's going to be able to make it happen for you, I think it would be us. Um... <laughs> So yeah. What what are you thinking? Did you hear that? Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. Yeah, what are you what are you thinking? Uh I'm thinking, can you get it done in seven days or less? Seven days? No. Nobody's going to yeah. be able to do that. Nobody's going to be able to do that, but we can try to get it done by the end of the month. All right, well, that sounds good. Okay.
All right. All right. So are you able to access your email while we're on the phone? Yeah. All right. All right, I'm sending it now. So you should have just got an email from National Home Buyers. Let me know if you got that. Just like before. Hello? Yes. Did you get the email? Why your name is not in the buyer section? It it is in there once I once once I fill it out. You'll see it once I send it back to you. So you want me to sign a agreement with your name on it? I can go ahead and add that. Give me one second. I don't even know why you would send me that. <laughs> All right, I'm resending it. One second. Go ahead and check now. You should have got another email with the corrected copy. There was an issue with the first one that I sent him. Do you see it? NHB. Yep. Thirty-five thousand with only a hundred dollars in earnest money. Yep. Why is that? Standard for us. Everything else is pretty standard, as is purchase, no warranties. Uh, we're going to pay all the closing costs, attorney fees, title fees, transfer fees. So nothing's going to come out of your pocket it, other than anything you owe on the property. We're covering all the closing costs for you. So taxes, I want taxes to come out of the purchase of price. If you owe taxes, you owe the taxes. What do you mean? If you if you owe taxes on the property, you're gonna pay those taxes, the property taxes, up until the day you don't own the property anymore, because the property taxes are in your name. Exactly. Yeah. So I can take the I can take the tax money out of the purchase agreement to have a clear closing. Yeah, that's how that's it is I gonna mean. happen. Yep. The title company pays that out at closing. Yep. You're right. <coughs> Exactly like that. Uh, anything you owe would be paid for at closing. Now it says no judgment. I have a judgment in this claim, but the judgment is in my favor. It says that I can do whatever I want to with the house. 
Yeah, no, it's you talking about it. it's talking about judgments not in your favor. I'm just rebuttaling any objection that he has as he's going through the contract to get him to sign it and get us a deal. You did put a uh, termination date also. Termination date. It's close of escrow to be as soon as possible. We're going to try to get it done for you as soon as we can. Okay, I'll do that. And by, by the end of September, too. No, I want the closing date to be uh, what, September 30th because on here it says closer escrow to be as soon as possible or and buyer is to try to close it by the end of September or as soon as buyer can after that. Right. So like, like I said, it might take till the first week of October at the latest. I want to know that I will be able to exit out of this contract after a specific date. Even if you had a, a deal on the table for the third or the fourth, and I had a deal on the 30th, I don't want to be stuck in a contract with a looming date that's not official. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, I'll change it to close of escrow to be by the end of September or as soon as possible. So if we can get it done by Sooner than the end of September? Yeah. Okay. Take that and after part off of it. Okay. Close of escrow to be as. Close of escrow to be as soon. To be. I'm going to send it back to you here in a second. Or actually go back to your email or you'll be, I'm going to just edit this one. You'll be able to just go back into the same email here in a second. Alright, I just fixed it. Go ahead and refresh your screen and you should see that change. You see it? Yeah. Much better. All right. Uh, give me twenty minutes. I'm talking over with my wife. Let me have her read it, and you'll get a notification from your email. You're gonna do what? Uh, read it over again? Yeah, I'm gonna have my wife go over it, and then. Uh, All right. Good sleep, so. All right, sounds good. Let me know. All right, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Bye. Bye. I've been dealing with that seller for so long now. He makes it so difficult, honestly. All right, let's start calling some fresh new sellers.
All right, this one's in Scottsdale, Arizona. Just came in from I Speed to Lead. Hey Lori, I'm calling you to give you the offer for your property you requested on our website on Gelding Drive. Yeah, just inquiring, not making any decisions, but I'm happy to hear what you have to say. Sweet. Yeah, well, I'm happy to talk to you today. Uh, how's your day going so far? Pretty well, thank you. Good. So I won't take too much of your time. I just do. I just need to ask you a few more questions about the property, and then I can make you that offer. Is that okay? Okay. Awesome. So my first question for you is, how old is the roof? Um, the roof is about three years old. Okay. Three. All right. And then how about the air conditioning unit? How old is that? I don't know how old it is, uh, but it's uh, past uh, expect, uh, inspection with uh, flying colors. And... Um, I had the prior owner replace the roof because there were issues and um, there was no need to replace the HVAC, so, and uh, it hasn't failed me yet. Okay. How long have you lived at the property? Three years. Okay. Why are you looking to sell? I'm possibly relocating to another state. Okay. What state are you thinking about going to? Uh, Florida. Oh, nice. I've been thinking about going there myself. What part? Um, I have a daughter and grand and son-in-law and grandchildren in Orlando. Mm, I've been thinking about Boca. Sounds like a pretty good uh, switch for me. I've lived in Arizona my whole life, so. Mm-hmm. Uh. Well, unless you like humidity, it's, uh, I would stay in Arizona. I love mm. Arizona. I would only be moving because I'd be closer to family. Yeah. Yeah, I don't like the humidity, really. So, yeah, you're probably right. <laughs> um, okay. Um, as far as the interior condition, is it pretty much in the same shape as when you bought it? Um, I've done, I've, uh, done a few things to it completely. Obviously, it's completely painted. Um, it is, um, I added a fireplace wall, uh, to the living room, uh, kind of a focal point that goes all the way up to, to the cathedral, the top of the cathedral ceiling. Um, redid, um, a little, did a little bit of work in both bathrooms. Um, no, I have not redone the shower in the master bath at this point, which I should probably do, but I have not yet done that. But. Um, okay. new vanity and um, what about the floors um, throughout the house have you done them uh, the floors were hardwood uh, throughout the majority of it with the exception of the bathrooms in the kitchen those are ceramic tile uh, the, the floor is real wood it's not it's dark uh, and beautiful actually it's yeah. not um, a is the tile the same still uh, the tile is the same yes kind okay of an, off-white beige color. Same countertops in the in the kitchen? Yeah, gra there's a granite countertop. Okay. And, okay. White cabinets, black appliances. Yeah. Cab okay. Cabinets are original. Okay. Was there a price in mind you were looking to get for it? Oh, well, I've seen everything recently from about 460 to 505. Okay. Here. Not many have actually sold right in your community in a while. Yeah, not recently. I think June was the last Um, okay, let 
let me look at a few of these real quick. So you did the vanity in the master and you changed it to like a white vanity and a new countertop? Uh, yeah, how do you know that? I'm just assuming that's probably what you did, right? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you wouldn't want to do something different, then it wouldn't match the kitchen. Um, and that's a community pool, right? Yeah, there are two, actually, in the property, two different locations. Our office is right here in the air park. I'm right by you. Mm -hmm. Um, let me look at one more thing real quick. Anything else I should know about it? Any major issues or anything like that? Uh, no, it just has the garage door and all the tracking, the um, motor, everything completely replaced about six months ago. Um, don't have any plumbing issues. Uh, don't have any issues, really. Okay. Two car garage, right? Yes, two car garage. Okay. Sorry, it takes I, a little I, bit I, longer when there isn't so much no, data. I, I, when I, I, I don't mean to put you on the spot. Um, mm -hmm. So if you want to, no, I'm almost done. It just, look at it I'm almost done. Just plug in my last things here into my calculator. It's just it does. It, it's a little bit harder when not many have sold, and also it's like a townhouse type style, so you can't compare to stuff like that isn't kind of in your same community. Um, right. So it makes it a little tough. Um, yeah, that's, that's fine. I mean, I'm just looking for uh, yeah. a rough idea. Yeah. Um, okay. That's about 1,200 square feet, a little bit over 1,200, right? I believe it's 1192, exactly. We'd be around that low part of what you said. Um, 440, I think is what you said. That's probably around where we'd be at. All right. Well, I thank you very much for your time. Does that interest you at all, or? No, not when I. No, not at all. Not when I'm getting, um, you know, other information. And I know I'm only getting it from places like Zillow and Red. Right yeah. Then, so I think your property here. is worth 500, but just to give you a little bit of information on how it gets there, I think it is in good shape and you know, some things are updated about it, but when it comes to getting that 500 number, even though your property's in, you know, nice, right? I agree with you. There's a few things that are the factors that make it in my make me believe it can't get 500 how it currently is. Um, I would think it would need uh, flooring that is seamless throughout the house that is the same. And then when it comes to your cabinets, they've been painted white and you know, it looks nice, but they're older cabinets. So they would need to be replaced yeah. with like those shaker cabinets, uh, white shaker cabinets, and we need to get stainless appliances and then it sounds like one vanity in the master's done, um, but the other bathroom, that vanity would need to be done. Um, and then I don't know if you've retiled the showers yet or not, but that's something also that would need to be done. So it needs a decent amount of work um, to get to five, I think. Um, yeah. Is there a number that does interest you? 
uh, right now, what number would I have to be at to interest you, I guess, is the question. Well, what, like I said, I'm only inquiring. I'm just trying to get an idea. Um, my, the current situation I'm in, my interest rate is at 2.6%. Uh, most likely, I'm going to turn it into a rental property. Okay. What if I, what if I was able to pay you monthly for the property and you didn't have to deal with a tenant and I buy it from you on seller finance? Mm -hmm. That's a possibility. That way, you're getting mail that way you're getting mailbox money every month and but but um but you don't have to deal with a tenant ever. Yeah. Well at this point I am away I can't make any decisions or move forward until I um I'll get notice of a work transfer and that could happen tomorrow. It could happen next week. Okay. It happens six months from now. It could happen two years from now. So until I have that offer in hand, I don't have any way of making a commitment and I hear you. getting out of the pocket. Yeah. I hear you. Okay. Well, you need something to think about, though, and I want to give you yeah, something exactly. to think about. Um, let me let me ask you this: the work transfer thing is that something recently you've put a request in for, or what's yeah. like what within the past couple weeks or something you? Put that across about about two months ago. Two months I work, ago. I work for yeah. I work for an airline, so it doesn't always happen right away. And then sometimes it happens immediately. Okay. There's no predicting it. Well, what but I can tell you is, is this: if I, um, if I was gonna if I was gonna give it to you to turn, for you to turn it over to a rental comes uh, turn it into a rental, I'd be much wiser keeping the property. I'm not going to turn it into a rental. Guy. I'm actually going to either put my mom to live in it or I'm going to live in it. Truly. Got it. I like yeah. it. I, our, our office is right here on uh, 78th way off the of north site. So right here mm -hmm. in the air park. So I'm, I, I live, I live at the, you know, the Optima Kierland, yes. uh, the glass building with the plants. That's where I live right now. Um, mm -hmm. and I'm looking to buy something around here, but I don't want a house because I don't want to have to deal with all the things that come with like a detached single family. And my mom also mm -hmm. needs something. So this would be a good fit. Um, I wouldn't be renting it. I'd be so, either me or my mom would live in it. Um, and uh, yeah, S essentially too, if you're going to move across the country dealing with a tenant, and uh, still having the title in your name is just somewhat of a liability. You know, that's why I say yeah. mm -hmm. if you're able to get mailbox money and sell it, it makes it could make a lot of sense um, for you. Yeah, I could. Why don't you email me your information and I'll hold on to it. Okay. Before we jump off the phone, I just want to ask you a couple more questions about that to see if I can give you some more information so you have something to think about. If, when we're not on the phone, you know, if, if we were to do that, what type of money would you want to receive every month in the mail, for example? That's something, uh, do you know, do you have an idea of how much you'd like to get every month? Well, I know that in the in this neighborhood, properties are the same size that have been renovated, you know, fully renovated, like new kitchen and everything. Uh, they're about thirty five hundred a month. So I'm thinking probably about a thousand less than that. Probably about twenty five hundred a month. Okay, what's your mortgage payment currently? Uh, about fifteen hundred. Mortgage payment fifteen hundred. So you're looking to cash flow about a thousand dollars a month, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, let me let me do some quick math. You know what? D don't don't bother. I don't want to take any more of okay. your time. Okay. I'm, I'm, you're not. Yeah. I'm. If, I, if you want to email me and, and information about yourself and. Well, I'll do this. Uh, I'll just call you in a week or two weeks and just check in with you every once in a while and see if we can make something yeah. happen. Uh, I think there's something where we could we could get you money money in your pocket every month that that is appealing to you. 
um, but where you don't have to deal with tenants, you don't have to own it and still have that liability um, and buy it from you. Um, so yeah. Yeah, not, not sure I'm gonna go forward with this with a sale. I'm, I'm most likely gonna keep it and turn it into a rental property. Okay, and even I if would, I was able I to give you a thousand bucks in your pocket every month, you'd still wanna rent it and deal with tenants? Yeah. I think as a long-term investment with a bunch, I've got about $150,000 worth of equ equity in it. That's a lot of equity. Why would I do that? Why I'd still, I we, that? I'd still be paying you for your equity. I wasn't going to. I, I, no, yeah. I understand that. Uh, I'm aware. Yeah. So we'd, but, we'd essentially um, like choose a purchase price. That's like, let's just, for example, like we'd get you your equity. So let's say the price was 500 right and i pay you that over time though that's how it would work so you'd still get your equity that you have in it um yeah but then it doesn't get that yeah, but then i don't have my equity to work with to purchase additional properties which is probably what my goal is going to be so um okay yeah i yeah okay so anyway all right. Well, thanks for your time. Yeah, and uh, I'm willing to work with you too on maybe coming up from 440 to something higher that might interest you. So keep me in mind. Are you able to take down my name and number real quick so you have it when when you're getting more serious about selling? Sure. Go ahead. All right. My name's Jacob, and uh, we're national home buyers. We buy properties in multiple states across the country. Um, and I want to give you my number. My direct line to reach me at is, yep, that's All it. All right. Well, thank you, Jacob. Yeah, Lori, it was great talking to you today. I hope you have a good rest of your day, and hopefully we can maybe make something happen in the future. Possibly, yes. Thank All right. you so much. You have a great one. Bye. All right, bye-bye. See, she wanted to get off the phone to think about it, but if I didn't give her enough information then she doesn't have anything to think about. So I was trying to get some more time so I could actually give her something to think about. So there we go. On to the next one. This one's in Dallas, Texas. Hey, I'm calling to give you the offer for your property that you requested on our website for Wayne Street. Do you have okay, a second? What's your name? Who are you? My name's Jacob. Uh, yeah, and I just wanted to call you, ask you a couple more questions, and then make you that offer. Is that all right? Yeah, but here's the thing, man. Um, you're moving a little fast. I mean, you haven't even really seen the property and stuff like that. So I'm curious how are you gonna make an offer? Yeah. Unless it's just like a BS offer. Yeah, no, I'm going to make you a super accurate offer, and I get you're saying I'm moving fast, but I don't think I've got started yet. I'm going to ask you a bunch of questions about your property. Well, not too many because I don't want to take too much of your time, but I'm going to ask you the important... I have all the time in the world. Okay, perfect. Well, I'm going to ask you the important questions that I need to know about your property in order to make an accurate determination on the condition of the property. And then from there, I'm going to run... While we're on the phone, I'm going to run a CMA, a comparative market analysis of the property and comparing it to all the properties in the in a mile radius that have sold in the past 12 months that meet appraisal standards of your property. Meaning, I'm gonna compare your property to properties that are 20% bigger and 20% smaller than yours, 20 years newer and 20 years older than yours, I'm gonna compare to appraisal standards and then from there, I'm gonna calculate my offer and make you an offer. So it's gonna be super accurate, it's not gonna be blind, and it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be, you know, basically as if I came there and did the same thing at your house. Are you going to, um, hmm, okay, I got you, man. You sound like you're pretty smart. Where are you from? I'm in Scottsdale, Arizona at our headquarters. Okay, I got some partners in Scottsdale. Yeah, it's good, good, yeah. good city to be yeah. in. Yeah, I got some partners in Scottsdale, pretty big in the real estate space. Um, I'm not sure if you've ever heard of Sperber, clever investor. Yeah, Cody um, Sperber. I'm friends with him. Yep, I actually go to a mastermind at his office. 
So you probably know Brian as well. Yep. His partner. Ablas. Yes, sir. He's in the mastermind. Yeah, that's my buddy, man. Brian is my buddy. We, we, we talk pretty often. And um, I'm an investor myself. Mm -hmm. I'm not the homeowner. So I have these. This is probably under contract along with like eight more okay. throughout Texas. So um, I'm not sure if you're a wholesaler or if you want to just buy them yourself. We're a wholesaler. I'm a wholesaler. Um, One yeah, of I kind of figured that. Either way, um, if you got some buyers... Um, you know, we can just figure something out to just get all these properties sold. I have a lot of buyers. Um, what have you done to try to sell these properties so far? Um, well, what have I done? Um, it's just standard marketing. Um, I just got like a, a most of them on the 25th of August. However, for some reason, Wayne Street has been giving me some trouble because there's just like so many different comps in that area. Like there's some for 700000 um, and there's some for 680 then you had some for what do you have it under contract for Wayne? Um, Wayne is under contract for 315 315. Yeah, I think I can move this yeah. for sure How um, much are, how let much me send you something real quick because this is actually going to um, how much are you looking to sell it for? Wayne yeah um, It really doesn't matter man, you know if someone's serious and wants to put in a good offer um, I'll probably be open to getting it, you know off my hands yeah, man, I can market these. Um, my name's Jacob Blank. Do you possibly have heard of me? I I'm all, um, all over What's the your email? My email is... You know, I'm definitely going to check you out after we get off the phone. Yeah, I got so a YouTube channel, all that stuff. Email yeah. you. I just had my assistant send you an email. Let me know you got it. And basically what it is is it's um, all the properties we have, all the mechanicals, the closing information, um, any... You know, repair information, photos with the Google link, pretty much everything. No. Let me know you Did you it. send them to Bryant? Has he been trying to help you sell them or no? Um, well, I think we sell a few other properties, but there's some properties that Green Elephant really like. They're really tight with their buy box and what they want to put up. And um, I don't really think that Wayne Street and all the other ones that I got really kind of fit their, you know, fit their buy box per se. All right. Well, let me do this. I'm going to review these and then I'll get back to you if we can help you sell them. Does that sound fair? Did you get the email? Yeah, I got it. Yeah, check them out. Let me know what you think and, uh, yeah, we'll go from there. All right. And then let me do this. Uh, is this your cell phone? Can I send you a text? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna text you my website link where you're able to submit properties to us for, for us to help you sell them in the future. It's jacobblank.com slash dispo. And if you submit the properties there with all the info, we can get jump on them right away and help you sell them. And that puts yeah, them right I'll, I'll be honest, bro. Um, you know, we're, we're going over, I'm the owner, I don't know if I told you, I'm the owner of Max Home Cash. Um, we're pretty popular too, and we're, we're doing like six figures, so we don't really, you know, I don't really like, Mid stuff my digital companies for help and all that. I usually just kind of like hop right on the line. If there's a time where I just want to shoot something over, I might do it. Um, but I, I'd rather just call you, bro. Okay, you, that's you fine. Get a lot of you get a lot of properties, you know. That's fine. I just we do a yeah. lot of volume too, so I just want to make sure that the stuff we work for you is actually worth putting time into. So that's all. Yeah. So it's, you know, it's kind of like almost like the you know, that's the deal. I wouldn't say our disco is lacking, you know, I kind of just got these properties. So it's, you know, more of an opportunity opposed to like a need to get them help being sold. It's more just like maybe we can partner and get it done, you know. Yeah, um, yeah, for sure. For sure. All right, uh, we have investor lift cartel mode too. Do you have that? Use investor lift? No, we don't use that. I think it's a great platform. That's pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, okay. investor lift, bro. Yep, yep. Uh, it's yeah. good. By the way, guys, there's a link yeah, down below for Investor Lift. Um, uh, I got another good, nine good to come behind those once I get these off my hands. So I think you can, if you really got those buyers, you know, I don't have that many. I'm really strong in acquisitions, but I would say like, yeah. if I did have would you chance, sign? this part would be it. Would you be willing to sign a joint venture agreement on these or no? Absolutely, man. Non-exclusive, yeah, sure. Uh, well, see... Uh, would you be able to give us exclusivity for a few days or no? Um, no, I don't do that. Not for no JV, bro. That's not even custom. That's not even standard practice. Um, I mean, if I'm going to put my team, if I'm going to put our resources and my team members' time on it, we would want to have at least a few days exclusive. Otherwise, 
just pointless for us to spend time on trying to sell it if we don't even well, have I would say when, whenever Brian, because, you know, I use Aaron Vessel Lift when I bring properties with Green Elephant. So we do all non-exclusive. You know, if they find a buyer, bro, if they find a buyer, and we, you know. All right, we yeah, well, well they know you. Yeah. I mean, I never worked with you, so I don't know. That's why the thing is. Well, that's like, the thing. That, 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 that's why we wouldn't sign an exclusive JV prop, I mean, property because, you know, you're basically tying my shit up, and I don't know you, and you didn't acquire it with me. Right. So it's like, why would I give you right to my property, bro, and I don't know you? Yeah, right. but but also yeah, man, why would I? Yeah, yeah. But it goes both ways. It goes both ways. Why would I spend time if I don't know that it's legit and stuff? But wh- how about this? I'm gonna review the deals you sent. Check out my website. Mm-hmm. Look up. Check me out. Look me up, and then maybe you'll feel different about it, and then uh, we can see what we can do. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty firm on exclusive, bro. I don't. That's that. fine. I, I, I I'm firm on exclusive too, so I get what you're saying. But look me up, and I'm gonna review your deals. And then we can we can talk tomorrow about it. So uh, he's gonna look me up, I guess. But <laughs> I mean, if you got like if I'm gonna do a JV deal, I need to secure the deal for a few days at least to try to sell it. And if he's hello, hello. What's up, you just called me. Yeah, yeah, we got disconnected. Yeah, sorry about that. I, I felt like we were just going down the wrong path. And I'm no, we're going really down the right path. I'm just right. saying, yeah. I'm just saying, I'm going to review your deals and see if there's stuff we can help you with. And in the meantime... Yeah, I mean, you know what I'm saying is customary. I don't like when you people start going left, bro. You know exclusive deals, that shit is not customary, bro. Don't spin me like that, all right? So you look at my business, too, and you see what we're doing. We're not no idiots, bro. You know who I know. I know who you know. Don't spin me, bro. That shit ain't standard. I acquired it. I paid money to acquire it. There's no reason I would lock my deal with you unless you presented a buyer. Now, if you want to do, like, an option where you got an exclusive, the market, bro, go ahead. And we can sound like a non-circumvention where I can't go around you and all that kind of stuff. Fine. But no one's going to, like, I'm not a dictator, bro. I'm not going to lock my exclusive deal with you, and I don't even know what we're doing here. No, like I said, bro, you, you like to do Yeah, we need the ability to market for a few days, that's all. All right, well, you can look. I mean, you can do that with the non exclusive deals. Okay, bro. sounds good. So I'm going to look at you. So what I was saying was I'm going to look at your deals and make sure they look good, like something we can sell. And all I was saying is you could look my, at my website to see who I am, and then we can talk tomorrow and see what we can do. That's all. I mean, if you want to, you can get it started now. You send a JV, put it up, and see what happens. Go ahead and email over your purchase agreements that you have with the seller then so we can make sure you have the deal under contract and then we can and then I'll send nah. you and then I'll send yeah, you the yeah, the marketing with no I don't, I don't notes. Know, I don't see my contract either. If you find a buyer, okay. Sounds good. Like this, all, my, all my properties are open under escrow. Okay, so then you should like be that. able to you sell them. Alright, thank so you. What's your problem? Nothing. I'm just saying <laughs> That guy, man, I, I'm not going to go send out a deal that I don't even know he has under contract. Like, I don't know. So, I'll go ask, uh, yeah, like, I'll look into that a bit. But, like, that guy essentially wants me to work the deal and then just say he sold it already, which doesn't make sense. So, watch out for that, guys, when you're trying to do JV deals. Like, I can't just work every deal that comes across my desk without even knowing if it's a real deal or not. So I don't know what's up with him, but let's move on to the next one. So sometimes that'll happen where um, when you're doing online marketing, a lead will come through and it's actually a wholesaler just trying to sell their deal. Um, But you can get a JV like that. All right, this next one's in Carlsbad, California. All right, now we're dialing. Something wasn't working on my phone. Hello? 
Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Four one five five seven seven zero seven. 7 2 is not available. The mailbox is full and cannot accept any messages at this time. Goodbye. No answer. I'm going to send a text and an email with the wholesale podio system. We're going to move on to the next one. This one's in Georgia. Actually, this one's in Denton, Texas. There we go. I was calling to give you the offer for your property that you requested on my website. Give me a call back when you get a chance. Thanks. No answer. I'm going to send a text and an email. Move on to the next one. One's in Houston, Texas. dial always want to double dial so we got to get people on the phone now
Hey, give me a call back when you get a chance. I was calling to give you the offer for your property. Let's see what else we got. This one's Houston, Texas as well. I'm calling to give you the offer for your property on Ashfield Drive that you requested on our website. Uh, I didn't request on any website. You didn't request an offer for your property on uh, 3331 Ashfield Drive? Not on any website, no. I talked to some people. Oh, okay. Well, maybe it came from a different marketing channel of ours. But yeah, I got a bunch of information from you here about the property. I just wanted to ask you a couple more questions about it and then I can make you the offer. Is that okay? It'll only take a second. That uh, should be okay. All right, sounds good. First off, how old is the roof? Uh, unknown. I'd have to look at the uh, original purchase papers. Okay. I think it's, I've got it seven years. Insurance covered it. so. Okay, is there any uh, no leaks or any issues with it? No, I just had it looked at by a contractor. Uh, they said there was hail damage there. And I didn't see any, uh, the insurance didn't uh, say there was any problems when they went up there. So. so is there hail damage or not really? There is not, just some contractor trying to make a book. Got you, wow. That's my estimation because um, contractor said one thing and then the, the adjuster went up there and yeah, so you, you bought it uh, like six years ago, is that right? Uh, I think so, yeah. I see some photos of it. Are those still accurate? Um, like is the flooring still that laminate wood in the living room? Do you still have that white 12 by 12 tile in the kitchen? No. The kitchen, yes. Uh, not much has changed from the kitchen. Okay, what about the but bathrooms? The, uh, are the bathrooms still the uh, white tile on the yeah. walls and stuff? From what I saw this summer, uh, yes, but there is some uh, repair needed in one of the upstairs bathrooms. So some of the tile uh, has fallen off. Uh, the tenants don't use that bathroom, and they told me that they're fixing it. So, but there is some repairs there. In one, as you're looking at the house, the one on the left side. Okay. Are you renting the property, not living in it? Correct. Okay. 
So it sounds like it could use some work. It's not fully updated. It's kind of like just in pretty good shape, but could use some updates, right? Yeah. Okay. <coughs> tenant. Okay. How long has that tenant been in there? Uh, Two thousand sixteen. When is their lease? Is their lease up uh, soon or? No, they're on a month to month. Okay. Long story short, it was uh, it's my belated wife's family. Okay. All right. So we'd be able to buy it vacant, correct? Like they'd, uh, they'd move out or no? Not at this point. Okay, so we'd need to buy it with them, right? Is that pretty much? Or, or, that's the current. Or yeah, could, I haven't talked to them. With, that's or, the current term. Okay, that's could they? Conversation with them. You think they'd be willing to move out in like 30 or 60 days? Unknown. Okay. How much are they paying in rent? <laughs> Just the mortgage. Okay, so yeah, I can't, I mean, I can't keep them in there. You know what I mean? Like, that, that doesn't make any sense. So nobody's going to be able okay. to buy it and keep them unless they raise the rent or they move out. So anyways, though, let's talk about price and then we can always figure that out. You know what I mean? Yep. Um, they may move out. It's just them. They had three girls. They're all kind of in their 20s now. So. Oh, so it's um, kind of time to move. Any, like, it's not the worst time. In my opinion, yes, but I'm not... I'm not pushing them right now. So, so you said belate. You said your wife passed away, right? Not, is that what you said? Or? My first wife. Yeah, oh, my God. first wife passed away. Sorry about that. No so th worries. this Thank is your you. this is your first wife's family, right? Yeah. It is. Yeah. Okay. So there's you know they're on a month to month. Um, okay. Long story. Anyway, they they work on cash. I got you. Yeah. <laughs> It, yeah, the lease is kind of wonky. I didn't need to. Yeah, it's just, uh, it's one of those situations. It was while she was I living, and it, it, anyway. Okay, um, what price are you looking to get for it? Did you have a price in mind, or? I haven't looked at comps or anything. I, I think I scammed Zillow. Um, that was last year, so. Yeah, do you own a good amount of property, or? No. Uh, not anymore. I've been slowly uh, selling them. Gotcha. Any other ones you want to sell? I... No, no. Just this I, one? The one? Yeah, I sold one in Florida. Still live in Florida. Um, just uh, semi-retired, so. All right. What All company right. are you all with? Yeah, we're national home buyers. Okay. I, I get a lot of phone calls sometimes. Yeah, I hear you. Okay. Um, You've been the most honest one, and usually I just, uh, I'm pretty bullheaded. So. Yeah. Because they're cold calls most of the time. Yeah. I, th I feel like you filled something out on my website, but I guess you came from cold call. I don't, maybe you got marked differently I don't know I have yeah I am not on a website and I've been getting cold calls but are you still selling? yeah my That's system probably. probably just marked it wrong um, okay but uh, okay um, let me tell you what I'd be able to pay you so it doesn't sound like you really have a price in mind you're looking to get kind of just yeah seeing what I can offer okay um, let me look at one more comp real quick Now, if I made you an offer you liked, you'd you'd reach out to them and see if they were open to moving out. Yes. Okay. So the neighborhood over is like newer. What's the deal with the neighborhood um, that's across the way from? The storage Area place for... across the way from the storage, across the way from uh, South Dairy. So on the other side of South Dairy, that those neighborhoods. 
or that neighborhood. By right the there. school or across? Uh, yeah, by the yeah. elementary school, behind the elementary school. Yep. Yeah. Um, I think it was just uh, the develop when. Trying to remember. They're like different than yours. They're they're nicer than your neighborhood, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. There's, I mean, that neighborhood. Um, it's going for more. You don't have as much yard. Um, so and I don't know. I mean, I know it's in a flood zone. I just don't know if they, the different developers that took precautions. Uh huh. So, um, and I think with the newer ones, they took even more precautions. So. Um, when some of the storms come through, uh, the house was never flooded, but the street, you know, filled up with water. Yeah, they just, just look very years. similar, but they're selling for a lot, like a good amount more. Um, I don't know if the HOA is more pro. I, you know, there's there's an HOA on on mine, but um, okay. I lived on the other. I we rented, or they rented, and then we moved. Long story short. We live closer to uh, I-10 by Derry Ashford. I'd so. probably be a little bit under 300 on it. Okay. It, would would something in that area interest you, or? I uh, to be honest, I don't know. Okay, because it I, is a big house, so you know. If it, you know, in order to make money, I gotta do, gotta update it. And when it's a big house like that, you know, it gets expensive. I'd probably be somewhere around 270 up to 280, okay. 270, 280 okay. on it. Um, depending on the condition, maybe a little bit lower. Um, but I'm sure you haven't even seen it in a while, huh? Uh, yeah, we did stop by this summer. Uh, we took a, a vacation. Uh, brought my kids um, and we stayed there so that's where I saw that they had upgraded and they upgraded the floors got you okay uh, um, so where, what do you want to do next I uh, want to take a pause and um, think about it reach out to, think about it and reach out to them and see what their interest is what they two years ago they had talked about buying it but then COVID hit and uh, mm. problems with jobs and yeah. getting older. So they haven't mentioned anything since. Okay. So I'd like to give, I'd like to talk to them. It'd be my next step. Okay. Um, to see what their thoughts are. Um, because I kind of want to get out of this landlord business. Yeah, for sure. I get you. Okay. So when should I follow up with you? In like a week or so? Maybe. Plan on a week, yes. Okay. All right, sounds good. I'll give you a call next week. But other than that, it's been nice talking to you. Um, before we get off the phone, could you take down my information on like a pen and paper just so you have it? Just hold on one second. Okay. All right, my name's Jacob. And we're national home buyers. And um, my phone number that you can reach me at is five four nine four. Yep. Okay. Thank you, Jacob. And we'll uh, yeah, I'll touch base with you next week, or I'll hear from you. All right. Sounds good. I appreciate right. Thank it you very much. Yeah. Nice talking to you. Have a good night. You too. Bye. Bye. All right, this one is in Glendale, Arizona. Hello. Hey, I'm calling to give you the offer for your property on Paradise Lane that you requested. Uh -huh. Awesome. How are you doing today? Great. Good. Yeah, I just needed to ask you a few more questions about it and then I can make you the offer. I won't take much of your time. Is that okay? 
Go ahead. Awesome. So my first question for you is, how old is the roof? Probably seven. Seven? Okay. Mm -hmm. What about the air conditioning unit? Twelve or eleven. Twelve or eleven. Okay. And then as far as the interior condition, is it in pretty good shape or could it use some work? Oh, very good. Very good shape. Okay. Is it modern, like updated with like the whites, grays, and blacks like that or? I'm neutral. I have neutral. Neutral. So, but it's that like nice, nice style brown. Okay. Um, is there a reason you're looking to sell? Um, just downsizing. Downsize, yeah, it's a big house. Okay, was there a price in mind you were looking to get for it? Let's see what you thought. Okay. Have you gotten any offers yet from other companies? I have. Okay, what's the best offer you gotten so far? I don't know. No, I was wondering what yours was. <laughs> gotcha. All right, well, let me see here what I'd be able to do for you. It's on a big lot. Let's see. Did you see the aerial shot of my house? Yep, I did. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm just looking at a couple comparable sales real quick. Mine is Tuscan remodeled Tuscan cabinets, granite. Say that um, again. Tuscan cabinets, did you say? Uh huh. And granite. Okay. What type of flooring? I mean, what type of flooring do we have? Marble? Travertine? Oh, sorry. Polish travertine. Okay. So I have a 3,000 square foot building in the back. Wow. Two bedroom, two bath. The back? The back is a three bedroom, two bath, like a uh, casita? No, a two bedroom, two bath, and then an off, two bed, a uh, two office suite. Two bed, two bath, casita, and what else does it have? Uh, an office? Two office suite with a full bath and a shop with a bath. Two office suite with a full bath and a shop? Yes. With a what? With a half bath. When did y'all build that? Um, in 2000, oh, when was it? 2001? Top block. All permitted. How much does that cost you? Probably that's all together, probably four, three or four. Yeah, My husband's a, a contractor. Yeah, that's a big, big, uh, big project. Um, I don't know that I could be much higher than like, I'd be somewhere between 650 to seven, I think. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What What are you thinking, and what's the highest offer you've gotten? Because I might just be way off. Give me Give me you a shot. Okay. What What's the highest off. offer somebody else gave you? I might just be looking at the wrong stuff. It's okay. What's your way off? Okay. What's Thank the Thank you for what's, your time. Just Thank real you. quick. What's the highest offer you've gotten? I want to make sure. So ridiculous. Let me try to call back. I, sh I shot low. Hello. Please leave your. On to the next one. This one's in Florida.
Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Four one nine seven. Double dial. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. I'm calling to give you the offer for your property on Sweetbrush Drive. Hang on, just a minute. Give me just a minute, please. Uh huh. Sweetbrush Drive. 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 First off, how old is the roof? Dude, it's not. I, haven't I talked to you before? I, it's, I, I've got so many calls for some no. reason today. No. I tore the house down. I, they, it has no house. It's a half acre, and it's clear land. Got I have it. a storage facility. I have a store, an open storage on it. Got you. I hear you. Um, so you're charging people to store stuff there. How much are people paying exactly. you? How much are people paying you? Per month, I'm making I'm making thirty six to forty thousand dollars a year just off of that one property. Okay, how much were you looking to get for it to sell it? I, I want you to make me an offer. I and I told everybody that calls, I said you make me an offer. I, I I'm just I'm sitting back making mailbox money, and so okay. I'm well, gonna, sounds like you're it. a guy that knows what he wants. Uh, is there a price that you know you want for it? Uh, well, yeah, I, I have a price that I know I want, but you, you, I'm going to entertain you. Okay. You, you give me a price. All right, well, all right, well, let me look. It's going to take a second. If you tell me what you want, we can make it quick, and I can tell you yes or no. Uh, you know, I, I'm not going to go below 300000 300 Okay. Yeah. All right, let me see. I'm not going to go below that. I'll tell you that right now. Gotcha, gotcha. All right, give me one second. If you, if you, if you look at Google Earth, you'll see that it's, it's uh, commercial. Yeah, I, I'm there. looking all at field, it. All field, plates cross street, all field tools right next door, another all field on the other side, and then behind me, it's a 110-acre development from, for Amazon and... Uh, Home Depot warehousing. Uh, so, and it's unrestricted. I have electrical and water. I dug the, when I cleared the house and the trees, I dug the septic system up because it was a uh, six, five gallon drum. So I dug it all up and replaced it. I, I didn't replace it. I just, you know, I got premium dirt and put it in on top of it. And then crushed concrete gravel. I'd probably be around two twenty for it. What now? Two twenty. No, I ain't gonna go below three hundred. All right, one second. Um, yeah, man. Uh, yeah, two twenty probably. Okay, well, I'm not your man. All right, thanks. Have a good one. I appreciate you too. Taking my notes. All right. On to the next one. All right, this one's in Fort Worth, Texas.
Hello? Hello? Hey, I'm calling to give you the offer for your property on um, Christopher Drive. On 1837 Christopher Drive. You're quick. Hello? Yeah, I'm calling to give you the cash offer for your property on 1837 yeah, Christopher Drive. Hello? Hey, I'm calling to give you the offer for your property on 1837 Christopher Drive. Yeah, hello. Awesome. I need to ask you a couple more questions about the property and then I can make you the offer. It'll only take a second. No, no, that... no, no, don't worry. We, 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 we ain't asking no. All right, fine. Here, want the offer? Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Eight one seven three one two nine two five. All right, on to the next one. This one's in Phoenix, Arizona. Hello? Hello, this is the phone number. Let's do phone number and as soon as possible, I return the phone call. Thank you. Hey, I was calling to give you the offer for your property. Give me a call back. Thanks. Hello? Hello, this is the phone Let's... No answer. On to the next one. This one's in Peoria, Arizona. You have reached four three five five one three nine eight seven seven. Please leave a message. At the tone, please record your message. When you've finished recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. To leave a callback number, press five. Hey, I was calling to give you the offer for your property. Call me back. Thanks. Hello. 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 Some guy was calling back. Hey, Mike. Hello.
We're both trying to call each other at the same time. Your call has been forwarded to an... Hi, this is Frank Garcia. Please leave a message and thank you for calling. At the tone, please record your message. When you've finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Hey, I was calling uh, to give you the offer for your property. Call me back. Thanks. Answer there. On to the next one. Hello. Hey, I'm calling to give you the offer for your property that you requested on our website, the property on Elvin Avenue. No, I don't want to sell it yet. You sure? You, you you said you wanted an offer for it. Can I make you an offer? Okay, go ahead. Okay, I just need to ask you two more questions about it and then I can make you the offer. Is that okay? Sure. How old is the roof? Around uh, uh, three years, two years. Okay, what about the air conditioning? It has one of those water things in the side of the house. It has uh, a window unit. Window unit, uh, like out of the window? Yeah. No, no, it comes out of the wall. Out of the wall. Okay. Yeah. All right. So is it a? It's not central air, though, right? No. Okay. All right. Is there another property you want to sell other than this one, or no, just? No, 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 no. Okay, got you, got you. And then, as far as the interior condition, is it in pretty good shape, or could it use some work? No, it doesn't need no work. It's fully remodeled on the inside, or no? Uh, I haven't seen it for a while, but I think it's okay. Okay. All right, let me see. The, the, guy, the, guy, the, the, the guy who runs over there, he's been over there for uh, over 10 years. Okay. He doesn't give me no problem. I'd probably be right around 200000 for it. No, okay. Bye-bye. What, what price do you want? How much? Hello? Hello. Hey, how you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? Doing good. I, I believe I was calling you to give you the offer for your property. Um, um, let me get your information pulled back up here. Give me one second. Yeah, and then whenever you get that pulled up, could you just remind me which, uh, which property it was we talked about? Yeah. Oh, perfect. All right, one second. Mm -hmm. It's the property 7865 Second Avenue. 7865 Second Avenue. Uh, yes, that is in. Are you a wholesaler? <laughs> You're a wholesaler, right? Where? Are you a wholesaler? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Do you know who I am? I'm Jacob Blank. You might know me. I'm all over the internet teaching people how to wholesale. Do you know me by chance? That's, yes. I think I might have seen like an ad, maybe. Because your name does sound a little familiar. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so you have this property under contract. What price do you have it under contract for? All right, let's see. I'm sorry, I'm trying to hold back up and everything. Seven, eight, six, five, six, seven. Yes. This is uh, like that one point. It's like one point five. The one is that the one we're talking about? Um. In Saint Pete. Yep. Saint Hubert. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Um. So right now, 
just because uh, when I was talking to the seller, we did not sign, um, or I did not sign yet because he told me that when I call my buyer, it's okay to work um, a different price point depending on like willingness because he's trying to get this off his hands. Okay. So you don't have it under contract I yet? No, I have. Uh, the only thing I haven't done is I haven't signed just that in case we did want to negotiate that price because I think right now we're at an agreed low point on like 1.5. Okay, did he sign the contract yet? Yes, I believe so. I'd have to double check in. So, yes, so, so you do have it under contract or you don't? I mean, yeah, the only thing I don't have is my signature on that contract. Oh, okay. Just in case, he was willing to negotiate prices. 1.5 is too high, I think. What, uh, what type of comps did you run? Oh, maybe not, actually. Um, what do you think it was worth? Well, I thought it was worse in the condition it is in was probably, we were talking, I had originally pitched it for like just at one, and then he yeah. brought it back up to like 1.8. I, we, had, so we had a pretty long little negotiation about it. Um, yeah, I think, I don't, I don't know, man. I think at 1.6, like you said, or 1.5, I think that's too high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That because like when I was running comps, you could definitely sell the house and get good profit off of it. But when you're looking at houses, you know, especially like as big as this one is and everything, with the price point, these are more for like, uh, like purchase and living, like purchase and stay in, rather than uh flip or try to rent out or something like that. Yeah, yeah. So maybe you want to do a novation on it. But yeah, bro, I'm going to text you my website link so you can submit deals to us in the future. And I'm also going to text you my homepage and my website so that way you can look me up, maybe watch some of my YouTube videos. I teach people how to wholesale and maybe I can help you out. Okay, yeah, sounds good. I've been getting a little list of people just because I, I, I'm a newer wholesaler. But Yeah. Yeah. What uh, what area do you work in? Because I've also been working in like the North Carolina area. Did you do anything over there? Um. Yeah, we do a bunch of stuff in North Carolina. I have buyers all across the country, so I can help um, you out anywhere. Um, um, and you're actually on my YouTube video right now. I record myself calling sellers, and uh, you were in here on one of my leads, so I called you. So you're gonna be on the video awesome. like later this week. Awesome. That's it. I'll be I'll be keeping my eye out for it. I'll to have to watch it. It'll yes, be weird sir. Hear my voice up. Yes, sir. All right. Well, I wish you the best of luck in your endeavors with wholesaling real estate, man. I hope it goes well. Yep. Thank you. And if I have any uh, other deals, I'll reach out to you and see if you'd be interested. Sounds good, man. Thanks. Bye. Yep. Um, all right, on to the next one. Let's call that guy back that hung up real quick. Hey, uh, you hung up when I said 200. I just want to know what price are you looking to get? I told you uh, over 300. Over 300, all right. Yeah, I wouldn't be able to do that. Thanks, man. You have a good night. You too. Uh, let's see. All right, this one's in Houston, Texas. Hello? Hey, I'm Hello? Hey, I'm calling to give you the offer for your property on Pierce Street. Uh, yeah, who is this? My name's Jacob with Cash Offer Option. Okay, and 
Yeah. Yeah, you texted me on one number, you called me on another. I mean, what's going on here? Oh, we we have uh, many different phone numbers. Uh, like, it just depends. Like, I have my own number because I'm my own acquisition manager here. So each of us have different numbers, like each guy here, so that way we know how many calls each person is making. Does that make sense? Got it. Yeah, it's like pretty uncomfortable when you guys call me from one number, you call me, you tell me to call you back on another, and then you text me from something completely different. I'm sorry, man. Maybe something's wrong with our system right now, but what I can tell you is we're buying property and I can make you an offer. Uh, why don't you tell me a little bit about your company? Yeah, so our company, we've been around for about eight, nine years now. Uh, we buy about 12 to, I'd say, 20 properties a month, depending on the month. We're buying properties in multiple states across the country. Some of our main markets that we buy properties in are Arizona, Texas, Georgia, North Carolina, Florida, California, Nevada. We do a little bit in Denver, Colorado, and Pueblo, Colorado. Um, but yeah, we're buying a bunch of property. Um, I'm going to ask you a few more questions about your property, and then I'm going to run a CMA while we're on the phone on the computer, a comparative market analysis, and that's going to give me the ability to make you an accurate offer over the phone. Got it. I mean, I, I was already texting with someone and kind of landed on what I would accept. Okay. What, looking for what, what would you less. accept? Uh, we landed on 590. 590. Okay. You're not buying the home. You're buying my interest rate. I have a two seven five. Okay, so we could take a, we could take over your mortgage. You get me out of that. We we could take over your mortgage mortgage subject too, or what? So would we be taking over your mortgage on like a seller finance type of transaction? Mm, no. Because you say your interest rate is what is valuable, so that means we would need so to. So if you bought the home at six hundred thousand. I could not buy that home again at six hundred thousand and pay what I do. The best I could do is buy a four hundred thousand dollar home, far outside the city and a far lesser quality. Right. So what so, are what are you saying? You said the value is your interest rate. So that means, are, do you want to sell me your your loan, your your interest rate, or or? No, you have to sell me out of. Or you have to buy me out of that interest rate because right now that property is. Oh, I see what you're saying. So you would need at least 550 to walk from having such a good interest rate, is what you're saying. I would need 600, and we negotiated the 690. Oh, 690. Yeah. Or no, 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 590. Okay. Yeah, I couldn't pay that much. I. That's weird because I have a text message saying that. You could, which is really questionable. Yeah, I don't know. I man. Maybe maybe that nine. maybe that's some other company you were talking to before, but yeah, we couldn't do that. I've literally only talked to one company today. I don't know. I apologize. I mean, can, can you actually like fill me in on how this even happened? I had somebody text me today. I I don't I don't have the answers. I don't have the answers to fill you in. Not sure what was up with that guy, um, but uh, yeah. He wants too much. dial your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system five one eight eight six seven one zero zero seven is not available at the tone please record your message when you have finished recording you may hang up or press one
one for more options. Hey, I was calling to give you the offer for your property. Uh, give me a call back when you get a chance. Thanks. All right. I think that's going to wrap it up for this video. Um, again, if you guys want to get inbound motivated seller leads, go to iSpeed to lead. Uh, there's a link in the description for that down below. If you liked the video, make sure to hit the like button. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, go down below, hit the red button and subscribe. It helps me reach more people. So I'd really appreciate it if you go subscribe to the channel. Overall, this video was pretty good. We sent a contract and almost locked up a deal. We had a few different other good calls with motivated sellers. So I hope you guys got a ton of value from this video. But other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.